All right, I'm here with Dr. Brian Bixler from OSS Health. We were talking on the sideline, uh, Dr. Bixler, not only about the role no that uh, OSS Health has if only she regarding the high school football teams and the services you provide, but uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the players on the field as compared to when you played, played for the University of Maryland, Cedar Cliff. We were talking about the sizes of the players. Uh, what was the average lineman again? I'm kind of curious. Uh, we, I think our... It's like center and guards were probably about 165, and our bigger tackles are about 175 pounds. I think now you have a 195-pound safety running around out there. It's really different. So you're an orthopedic. You're seeing a lot of these injuries. A lot. The the collisions are probably a lot more forceful. Is that is that contributing well, the, to some of the injuries? Well, of course, there's not there's not a 50-year-old out there that doesn't say that we played harder back in the day. But <laughs> it's crazy now because you you think about it the. Uh, you know, not only are they 20, 30, 40 pounds heavier, they're all working with, um, they're all work with um, weightlifting coaches in the off-season, speed agility guys. They're just, the collisions are a lot more um, intense. I mean, is there any, uh, while we're on that subject, any research that, that there are more injuries in this day and age than there were back then, or is it? No, I think that I think it's pretty it's pretty equal. Everybody's equally strong and, and fit these days, so I think it, it works itself out. Okay, talk about the services you guys provide on the sideline. I see it down there. There's trainers, student trainers. There's you, the doctor, overseeing the game. Talk about what's your job and what's OSS Health's job when you're when you're assigned to these schools. Well, we're like. Uh, you put it very well. We, we oversee things. So we, you'll notice that, especially at this level, the trainers go on the field for most occasions. Um, we, we help to assess afterwards uh, on the sidelines. And then we take care of any major decisions, uh, return to play after a concussion. Um, we've had last year a couple elbow dislocations that we get involved in. But a lot of the times we're overseeing the trainers that help you with just helping general management. OSS Health covers 15 different schools, I believe we talked earlier, throughout the York, Harrisburg area. So what... Having said that, what's Saturday look like for you guys from an injury standpoint uh, from the high school football games? We have we have an urgent care center in both York and um, Mechanicsburg, and it it's busy. It's busy <laughs> from uh, from about nine until one. It's it's busy. I go in either one of the offices and keep pretty busy the whole time. What's one of the most common injuries you see the day after a football game? Uh, we see a lot of uh, boy ankle sprains, uh, AC joint injuries in the shoulder from tackling and hitting. Um, we've seen a lot of uh, ACL tears this year. So for kids at home, are there any injuries you see that are the more preventable kind? Is there any advice we could give the young athletes at home? Uh, I know some injuries are just you're predisposed to injury, but maybe it's genetic or whatever. But, but are there any you see that you kind of say, you know, this shouldn't have happened? Well, we, we talked about this a little bit during a basketball game uh, last year, and I think the biggest thing is strength training. Strength training. Starting kids from a very, very young age with good body weight strength training, and that goes a long way towards preventing a lot of the injuries, I, th I think. And I've heard you talk about core strength training, the stomach area, the sit-ups and all that. That ties in? It's um, Well, core is more than just that. It's, it's, uh, the, it's the stomach, but the back and the hips and the legs and everything. Gotcha. So, yeah, it's all. It's really important to start that from a very young age. All right, we're here with the doctor once again. We'll see uh, Dr. Bixler another broadcast coming up when Cumberland Valley plays CD East at home in a few weeks. Uh, but now we're going to get back to Archie uh, and Jerome and Todd in a few minutes for the Highmark Halftime Report after these messages.